The first scan lines may look incorrect and won't resemble a 3D image yet. This is entirely expected. Return to behaves like a large magnet, and its magnetic field is typically represented with lines, much like it is for a common magnet. So, at every point on and below the surface of the Earth, there is a level of magnetic field present. Objects made of certain materials are affected by this field in such a way that they develop their own magnetic field, very similar to that of a magnet. Magnetic locators operate on the principle of detecting the difference in the magnetic field present at two sensors spaced a fixed distance apart. In the absence of a buried object, the field at both sensors is the same. The presence of an object results in a difference between the magnetic field at the top and the bottom sensors. That difference is called a gradient. Indicate the detection of a gradient to the user by changing the pitch of an audio tone and, depending on the model, with a bar graph on a visual display. The size of the buried object has an impact on the size of the magna magnetic locator, involves approaching the object while listening to the pitch of the tone and, if applicable, watching the bar graph on the display. Once near the object, small X pattern movements help pinpoint the exact location. Repeat the orientation and at the same height above the ground. Add further lines until you have scanned your field completely. You can scale and rotate your scan image in Visualizer 3D Studio to determine the position, size and depth of your detected treasures.